Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Valentine's Day. It's Thursday again, and you know what that means. I've got my little update chart here. Thought I would show you how I did this week. I lost a little bit this week, so that's a good start. I wasn't even really trying, to be honest with you, but that's a good thing. Now, you might notice something different. Something different about Janet. Well... I'm wearing makeup again, for one. So, um, what happened is a friend of mine online, her name's Annie, she recommended that I start reading this book. And I've started reading it. I've read about three chapters so far. And it's a book to help um, make differences in your life, to feel better about yourself, and to come up with a routine to achieve things that you want to achieve. Now, there's a lot of things I want to achieve, a lot of things I need to change in my life. And one of the main things that I'm working on is clearly trying to lose weight. That's clearly a number one thing. But I also want to feel better about myself. Because for a really long time, I was feeling really, really badly about myself. Really, really badly. And the events of that heartbreak didn't help that situation. But one thing that I've learned from this book, the author of this book had a crazy near-death experience. And it just really makes you kind of think, you know, wow, you know, there are worse things, you know. And a lot of times, you know, shit happens. Shit happens. And there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. You're absolutely completely powerless when things like things happen, you know, like say a car accident, things happen. And there's no sense worrying about it or being upset about it. You've just got to try to focus on the things you do have and not the things you don't have. So like I said, I'm going to continue reading this book. Um, I'm going to try to start doing this, um, Miracle Morning Ritual, which is something you're supposed to do every morning where you wake up an hour earlier than you're supposed to, to do these things that you want to do to make your life better. So I'm going to start with that. I have a second book coming that my friend Annie recommended that I should be getting next week as well. And I kind of want to be, I need to finish this book first before I get to that one. But uh, so far I'm just after reading these first three chapters, I'm feeling a lot more positive, a lot more confident, and I feel a lot more hopeful at this point. And um, like I said, I figured one of my first steps was going to be starting to wear makeup again, even though I got this horrible cut on my face here. And, um, you know, I mean, even just wearing the Band-Aid even though it looks terrible on my disgusting chubby double chin, it honestly really doesn't bother me at this point. <laughs> and, um, and whatnot. So, basically, um, that's about all I have for this video. I'm still having problems with the movie maker, the audio dropping out and stuff like that. So, um, I'm seriously going to look into getting a better recording program as well. Because I'm, I just don't know what else to do with iMovie. I've tried everything. I've called the Apple tech support and nothing seems to work. So I'm going to try to find another program, possibly even buy one that I can record on where I hopefully won't have these kind of stupid fucking problems. But anyway, I'll keep you updated on my progress. Um, I'm hoping I can finish, finish this book. Um, it's not a very big book. It's about 140 pages. And I'm already almost 40 pages in, so I'm hoping I can start doing my um, Miracle Morning fairly soon. Once I, once I finish reading this book, I'm assuming I can jump right into it and stuff. And I'll keep doing videos on it and all that good stuff. But as of right now, um, that's pretty much where I'm at. I, I'm trying to be more positive. That's basically one of my... Um, Where's my book? Hang on. Ugh. One of the first things they said was to write down a life's purpose. Um, I wasn't really too 
particular on what that meant. It said there was no right or wrong answer, that you were supposed to just make something up. But I came up with five, five purposes that I want to try to accomplish. That is to be more positive, to smile more, to lose weight clearly, to feel good about myself, and to become financially secure. Those are my five things, and I feel like five things is kind of really overwhelming, but this is just a list. I figure I want to start with feel good about myself. That's the first thing I want to try to work on first, and then start going down my list and knocking off things one at a time, one at a time. You know, and lose weight, of course, is pretty high up on that list just because of health reasons, you know, because I really want to accomplish that. I mean, hell, I lost over 100 pounds before doing Weight Watchers, so I know I'm capable of losing weight. It's just I haven't felt very motivated up until now. But anyway, guys, take it easy. Um, where's my Valentine at? There she is, Valentine Cat. <laughs> I am forcing this kitty to be my Valentine today. You're going to be my Valentine, right, kitty? Yeah? Yes, you are. Anyway, guys, have a happy Valentine's Day. Hug a kitty cat or a puppy or something like that if you don't have a significant other. And, uh... Have a great day, right, Ginger? Have a great day, yeah? <laughs> okay, you can leave now. Bye, guys.